This dart frog can kill 10 grown humans. In the lush rainforests of Central and South America, or in my garage, in my custom aquarium's paludarium, a small creature carries a deadly secret. Meet the dart frog, a stunning but dangerously poisonous amphibian. Dart frogs are famed for their vivid colors and their teeny tiny size. But don't let that appearance fool you. The secret to the dart frog's defense lies inside their skin. These frogs secrete a potent toxin that can be deadly through glands. Let's take a look. What we do know is that they have poison glands near the surface of their skin and ducts that open up and carry the alkaloids to the surface of the skin when a frog is attacked by a predator. And if the predator ingests the poison, death comes swiftly. Many of the dangerous alkaloids in the frog's skin are neurotoxins that kill by permanently blocking nerve signal transmission to the muscles. Wild how these itty bitty little teen weeny amphibians are born without any neurotoxins, any poison whatsoever, yet through all of the food that they eat, oh yeah, they become some of the deadliest animals in the world. More importantly, the Phyllobates terribilis. Ah, they're so cool. But where did they get their name poison dart frogs? Well, you may have guessed it. The indigenous folks coated their darts with the neurotoxin and used it in blowguns. And it's surprisingly fast. The big question remains, can we really keep them as pets? Well, the answer is yes. They're not as difficult as folks claim them to be. However, they're also not poisonous. Remember, once they're brought into captivity, even the wild ones, once they're brought into captivity and don't have that food source, they lose their toxicity. So any captive bred ones that are not provided a food source that would provide them the ability to turn it into a neurotoxin are perfectly fine. You still don't want to touch them with your fingers, but as long as you provide the proper setup, the proper food, the proper humidity, and well, the proper everything, you can keep them as pets. You're just not going to want to handle them. I mean, most amphibians you're not really handling anyways. I hope you found these amphibians, these beautifully colored amphibians. As a matter of fact, I was hooked on poison dart frogs or dart frogs, poison arrow frogs, or if you want to use their scientific name, that's up to you. But I've been hooked. I've been hooked on these little amphibians most of my life. I mean, even look, look at my bracelet. But I was hooked on them because of their colors, their diversity, and most importantly, their abilities. I hope you've learned something from this video. I hope that you are inspired. I hope you're inspired to go out there and research some more and remember that even once you do get your poison dart frogs, there's still more research to be done.
I'm glad you stayed. For some of you that have been watching these videos for quite some time, well, it was only a matter until the video ended that you got some sort of motivation, inspiration, impact, or maybe just some laughs. Five years ago, you said you wanted to do something, and I don't know what that was. But well, it's five years later, and you still haven't completed it. If you did, let me know in the comments what you completed that you set out five years ago to do. And if you haven't, what the heck are you waiting for? Time doesn't wait for anybody. And well, if you were setting that goal, more than likely you were excited and well, happy. So go after it. Because if you don't, you just wasted time. <laughs>